We are a blockchain-based energy solution with a social impact mission to connect over 1.2 billion people around the world that don't have access to electricity or grid services. We're going to bring them that access, not only through um, distributed energy resources, but we're also going to use our token or our currency so they can use that as a means of exchange, which allows them easy access. Blockchain is enabling the internet of value and what we're building is the energy internet in order to allow each person, each place to become their own energy company. A lot of our challenges come with trying to educate others on blockchain technology first and then having them understand our actual project and what we're doing. Uh, we're in the process of building a software platform and it's going to build on the capabilities for them to be able to trade energy peer-to-peer uh, and have more localized renewable energy generation sources. KWH Coin is a blockchain-based renewable energy company that converts renewable energy data into tokens using a unique and secure blockchain. Any type of renewable energy resource can be tracked. This measurable export output is tokenized on the blockchain to create digital KWH Coin tokens for participants. For example, during the day, Solar panels on a house will generate energy to be used in the evening. Any surplus power can be denoted in the blockchain as energy tokens, which in turn can be sold or traded in a decentralized market as KWH coins. What we've learned is that data is going to be the new currency in the future. We have a unique opportunity to build an energy internet so each individual person commercial installation, each school, each local community can essentially become their own energy company and have their own energy generation sources, uh, energy distribution, and energy storage set up in a much more localized area so that all of those, all of that, that energy economy is locally built and sustainable. We want to advance the technology and get out of these old traditional, you know, centralized ways. We want to give power back to the people and give them the opportunity to make their own decisions versus being told what to do and what they can't do. We look at ourselves as being able to go in to a village and have all of the, the facilities and capabilities to make it a smart village so they can still maintain their, their culture and their customs, but essentially become modernized with as far as their access to things to improve the, the quality of life and standard of living. We felt that in order to deliver electricity, we had to make it affordable. This is the biggest friction point. This is typically the largest barrier. So let's say if you're living in, in one of our project areas, let's say Sierra Leone, for example, where they're living on a dollar and 20 cents a day, they may not be able to afford the entire bureaucracy that surrounds centralized grid production and that centralized grid model. But they may be able to afford five kilowatt hours of electricity so that their child will be able to do their homework at night and so that they will be able to have functions and facilities in the morning. Most of the day they're going to be spent outward so it's more feasible to set up a system that could be more curated for their very specific needs. We are launching also our nonprofit organization which is the My Stella Foundation. We will be doing a community a disservice if we just go in and just give them resources but not equip them with the tools needed to become a sustainable and um, thriving community. Creating opportunities, economic growth, um, microfinancing, and training so that whenever we leave that community, it's viable and it can stand on its own. Cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, sustainable living, renewable energy, um, energy independence, all of it kind of fits into the wheelhouse. And so that's what drives me and that's what motivates me every day.